Hello, welcome to iFix Touch. So this time we are uh, trying to fix this X1 Nano, a very small machine that is not working. As usual, first of all, remove the cover. You know, all the screws. Cover is out. Now, first thing we're gonna do is remove the battery. Yes, let's start with the first screw. Uh, you always want to remove the battery first. You don't want to play with anything on the computer while the battery is connected. You want to avoid damaging any component of the motherboard by uh, playing with it while the battery is connected. Right? Battery is out. Now, let's just start removing connectors. This one is the trackpad and the keyboard one. They are just like a snap in. You just can uh, just remove it uh, with your tool. Let's disconnect this one, uh, release the clamps, and then just pull it. This is the fan. Be careful with this one. Disconnect the antennas. Now disconnect the LCD screen. With, uh, you can use this uh, black stick, it is, is how they call it, to, to use it. It's really easy to work with this one. Let's connect this uh, little connector from here. Make sure you use, you, you don't pull the cable. You use the connector, you know, like with the connector itself, with the uh, white part. Now you can start removing the screws after you remove, or after you disconnect all the uh, connectors the old motherboard the motherboard that is not working remove the screws you know to make it easier for you put all the screws like the same kind of a screw put it all together like the screw for the motherboard put them all together so you know you don't get confused later let's remove the heatsink with the fan you need that smaller screwdriver in this case don't try like me to do it with the uh, bigger one because you may strip off the, the the screws here don't forget this little guy that holds the fan this uh, little screw right fan is out with the heat sink now I'm just uh, do the SSD along with the SSD heat sink. Remove the SSD. Don't try to pull it uh, towards you, or, or you might damage the connector. Just uh, slide it to the to the side. Remove the pad. You might use it. Yes, you wanna uh, use the pad. So now you're just gonna like do a quick look around. Oh, we're forgetting this little guy here. Let's remove it in the middle of the motherboard. So now you want to remove the cables that are, you know, around and just pull the motherboard. So once you remove all the screw, you just come easy like this. Here's the new one. Let's put the new, the new one. When you put it, make sure that make sure like this that there is no cables uh, behind the motherboard you know try to put it all to the front remove the cables that uh, are behind the motherboard make sure no cables get uh, trapped under the motherboard once you once you do that once all the cables are on the top part, on the top side, put all the screws, the screws that belong to the motherboard, put them back. You can follow the ones that I'm putting right now. But mostly the motherboard should say, you know, it has like a little mark that say where each motherboard got, goes. If you're liking the content, don't forget to subscribe, give me your like. And if you have any question, give me your comment too. Leave a comment down there and I, I'll do my best to respond. Okay, let's connect then the trackpad. Just like a snap pin, just put it 
right on the on the way it should go and just push it all the way down until you hear the clip let's go the screen be careful with this one try to put it like uh, in front you know and then just use your tool to slide it all the way you don't want to damage the connectors same thing with the cable for the camera and mic just put it you know like in the front nice and nice and easy and you use your tool to kind of slide it in all the way in and make sure uh, it's clamped like with the you know you this is like on the down position the this piece here for the antennas they are really tricky just they also are like a snap in put it put in on the like percent then you know percent uh, to the connector and just use your tool to push them down until you hear the clips just push all the way down and, and it should work stay they, they, they're really tricky sometimes see if you're doing this the first time it might take you a while uh, to to do the antennas cables all right let's keep on connecting the cables This one, the new motherboard comes already with the thermal paste for the SSD, so we didn't need to use the one, the old one. So you can trash that old one. For the SSD, you, you know, just uh, do now the work, but in reverse, slide it all the way in. Don't forget to do the, to put the heat sink, then the screws. Remember, every time you uh, put in the heatsink, you need to apply new thermal paste. Let's put the heatsink on the fan. Remember, for the fan, you need that smaller screwdriver. You don't want to damage the screws or the, it's going to be way more difficult to, to screw them back. Don't forget to the one that goes on the fan let's connect the fan this is like a little flex cable so just uh, you know snap that in until you see the white line is in the right position give a quick look look just to make sure that you're not forgetting anything like me right now like me right now yeah, I forgot, I forgot this little cable down here, see? Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hard to take it out. That's, that's why you have to avoid, that's why uh, before put the cover, you need to, you need to uh, give a quick look and make sure everything is connected. So I, I forgot this little guy down here. Luckily we, we see it on time. All right, same thing. Just put it in position, then slide all the way in. Put the screw back. Battery is the last thing that you want to do. The battery. Okay. Make sure everything is nice and easy. Just connect it. Once it's connected, start putting the screws. Sweet. Battery is good. Now, back cover. Yeah, not this way. Turn it around. It also has like some hooks. You wanna, you know, uh, make sure you, you put it front like the front part first and then just snap it back once again if you like in my videos you, if you like what i do don't forget to subscribe give me that thumbs up and i hope this video help you to uh, fix your problem so the motherboard change fix it no power issue see you in the next one